Hello everyone, welcome to another tutorial on OpenCV on our channel. In this one we are going to be taking a look at uh, shape detection. So in this tutorial, it will be a quite short one, uh, we are going to be taking a look at how we can detect the contours of uh, different shapes, how we can calculate the points, so how many points it has, and how we can calculate the area of that shape. As you can see on the screen, uh, I have already implemented this and currently I am, um, so I had drawn some shapes on a piece of paper and the application itself is taking a look at them and it's calculating the area and it's also displaying the points. For example, you can see on uh, this square here uh, that it has four points and some area of 3000 uh, pixels. And you can also see that we have uh, some areas that it's quite not sure about. For example, this triangle, um, you can see that it's switching between three and four. So if I move a bit closer, uh, it should be able to tell it more accurately. So you can tell it's uh, directly three. Uh, all of this depends on the quality of the camera. It depends on the blur, on the lighting and stuff like that. So to explain what I have here, this DroidCam client, uh, that's just uh, an application that helps me to use my phone as a web camera because I don't have a web camera, so I'm just using my Android phone. Uh, so if you don't have it, uh, if you don't have a web camera, you can use this also. So this is not part of our application, it's just a helpful thing that you can use. And I'll be linking the, uh, uh, the this uh, client where you can download it, I'll link it in the description. So for our application, you can see that we have two sections here. On the left side, we have the um, section where we display all of the uh, contours. So we mark the areas and the points. And on the right side, we have our processed image. So this is just for debugging for us, so it's clear what our application does. For example, you might have noticed that these two squares are not displayed. This is because we have some filtering. So I'll be talking about it later on. Um, we filter out some of the areas. If I would really move into closer, then you can see that this one is being displayed now. So um, with this being shown, I think it's time we go to the code. Uh, I can uh, close this and then I will be explaining you what exactly we have in our code. So uh, the application is quite simple. We have only two classes. We have the shape detection and shape detection util. I'm using IntelliJ as my IDE and uh, for handling of the dependencies, I'm using Gradle. So from the dependencies, I only have the OpenCV one. If you're using Maven, so you can use exactly the same thing. You can find it on the Maven repository and uh, just use the OpenCV uh, uh, library. So in the shape detection, we have a couple of things. In our main class, we have loading of the OpenCV. So this is something that we need to do in the beginning. We need to load the library and we're creating two panels. So it's the camera feed is the left one where we are marking all of the shapes and the processed feed is the right one where we are just showing for debugging how it looks like processed. Next, what we have is this uh, shape detection util class where we are creating the J frame. So if we jump to it, you can see that we're creating one window, uh, setting the size and the layout, and we're just uh, adding our panels that we have created. So nothing special and fancy is happening here. And then we have the video capture uh, object. So we are taking zero. So index zero means uh, default camera, whatever it is. In my case, it's my phone. So I'm just taking it from there. The next thing that we have is this uh, start shape detection where we pass in our two J panels and we pass in the camera. So it's just a runnable here. And here uh, what I'm doing is I'm creating a new image called frame and also setting it in a um, loop that will run forever because while true, which means that we want to take um, a frame uh, every time and we are reading it from our camera and storing it here. The next thing that we want to do is we want to process this frame, meaning uh, if in order to detect the shapes, we need to do some processing on the frame. You can't do it directly on the image. I mean, you can, but it will be really hard to detect the shapes and you would get some weird results. After the frame has been processed, uh, we mark the outer contour. So we mark this, um, what you saw on the image and 
then after that's being done we also draw that image so me, which means we are just displaying it on jpanel if i jump here you can see that we have this uh, mat which would be the image that we want to draw and the panel is the one where we want to draw it we need to cr uh, convert the mat so the mat object is the opencv object we need to convert to the buffered image we also have a method here uh, which just takes uh, the hit the width and the height and depending on the channel that we have we just copy the data put it in the buffer image object and return it with that image we just take the panel graphics and draw the image so again nothing special is happening here we do that for the camera feed so the left side and we'll do it also for the processed feed so the right side so the frame is the left one processed is the right one okay so let's take at the interesting part let's see what we do with the processing of the image so if we jump here we are, proce we are processing the frame so the matte object at the beginning it's just um, here um, an empty image with the same height as the our current frame so whatever our camera is displaying first thing that we want to do is we want to apply some blur to it after that is being done this is to just uh, help out uh, detect shapes a bit better so we apply a blur uh, to our uh, processed image so at current po point we have some blur on it then we switch it from the rgb to gray so now at this point it's gray then we also uh, use the canny algorithm to be easier to find the edges uh, you can play with these uh, thresholds um, to find the correct values depending on your camera and stuff like that so you could uh, change it a bit to see how it looks like for you and then uh, we also do the dilation of our image uh, to um, uh, make everything easier and make the uh, shapes bit nicer the problem here is that the the for example a square you can see that it has some um, uh, how to call it it's bit thicker on some places and somewhere is uh, not so much and to handle that we need to dilate the image um, you can again play with this so for example if you use this code i will of course put the code on github so you can just take it from there so if you uh comment this line and take a look how it looks like you will see these problems that i mentioned so after our image has been processed we just return it here and so if we go back we have our processed image now and the next step that you want to do is we want to mark these contours so let's jump to this method uh, what we have here we have a processed image and we have the original image so unprocessed uh, image that's captured by the camera so this one is used uh, to uh, display those contours on it so we want to uh, draw on this one and this one is used to detect the contours so we create a new array list uh, where we are going to be storing all of the contours and we use the opencv method to find it we are looking for the external one and the chain uh, approximation is none and uh, yeah after we have found them we want to filter some of them so we are filtering the basically the noise the background noise you saw those um, squares that we had one was smaller and it was not marked for example that's something that we wanted to filter because we don't want to um, display every contour that's found because then it would be just lines everywhere so to do that we have uh, an open cv method called contour area which gives you this value so this value is the one that we are displaying also on our screen it just uh, tells you how big the area is and we also take the rectangle of this contour and basically we are saying if the value is bigger than 1000 then it's not a noise it's something that we want to uh, display and this uh, 1000 is just a number i picked uh, you can basically put here whatever you want whatever uh, satisfies your need and then if it's not a noise we want to put some text on it we're putting it on the original image and we're taking this value that we have calculated here and we are saying this is the area value so we're putting the text and where we are going to put it is our rectangle which is the contour uh, so it's um, x axis uh, plus the width and same with epsilon plus the height uh, this is some font i'm using the scale and the color thickness you can play with this you can change here and do whatever you want then the next thing what we want to do is we actually want to put the text of the uh, points so how many points it has do that uh, we convert our contour uh, here we are converting to converting it to a different type we want to convert it to this met of point 2f 
and and then we use the approximation um, polygon so to approximate the curve uh, to make it easier uh, for us to calculate the points otherwise you would get uh, many more points that there actually are you can look at the documentation of these uh, methods to see what exactly they do i will not be explaining them because they are open cv methods and you can find all of the documentation on their page and also here in the java docs after we have done this then you can con use this destination um, which is basically just this object here and you can convert it to array and take its length and that would be the how many points there are again we are just doing the same thing as we did here except we are just moving it by 15 pixels and just so that they are not overlapping and yeah here in our stream api we're just returning this is not noise so that we can filter out everything that is and we are not doing anything afterwards and then when we are drawing the contours we just want to draw the filtered one and we also say here minus one which means yeah draw all the contours that are in this array if you provide an, a positive index it would just draw that one which you provided for example if we have five contours and you provide index one it would just draw the second contour in the array uh with that being done um that's it it's a short tutorial not much to do here um if you are interested in more details uh just leave me a comment and i will try to explain it and hopefully uh, you can play with this and um, you can do some interesting projects with it one example that i could uh, tell you that you could do with this is for example solving uh, so a real-time solving of sudoku i'll probably do that tutorial a bit later on so you could do the same thing you could for you could for example uh, modify this code to uh, when you're marking the outer contours to not mark everything so don't provide minus one here but find the contour the biggest one uh, which would probably be the 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 square of the sudoku puzzle then remove the lines uh, cut out the digits and then you would need a neural network to recognize them and on so there it's a bit bigger thing to do but for this it's a really introduction to OpenCV. it's a nice thing uh, that you can try to do um, so if you like this video please do like it and subscribe to my channel and i will see you in the next one